Hello. Someone's going out of town for two weeks. All this stuff to ship. <laughs> so, you have to teach me how. Okay. Teach me how to run my own business. So let's go. Okay, lesson is over. I'm pretty confident that I can do this. I feel like everybody's making it more difficult than it really is. Oh, we'll see how many orders. We'll see. Yeah, get if, they get, up. if they get fucked up, they can blame me this time. Yeah. I've been blaming people for years, Alex. I know. Now it's time you can blame me. Put the blame on me. So we got sweats that are coming out. These have been coming out for a while. Uh, they are finally going to release. They're embroidered. Finally going to release for the public uh, this weekend. So we're getting this all ready to go. Seven more boxes just showed up that are in my car. I have to take those down to the embroidery and get those finished. So there's actually stock. Alex is finally home. Are you going to go eat? Because I got to either take do that or take these boxes. My car is full of boxes. And then I haven't even explained to the vlog that I rearranged this whole area. Look at this. I redid everything. It took all day. And I still haven't organized this stuff, but I did move my desk, which I need someone to tell me how to fix this. It's a little wobbly. I think I bent fucking Frank. Got lots of drawing to do. Car full of boxes. A little spot buffed out pretty nice. Seven thirty. Time to go get Jay. Doggos, hold it down. Still sleeping. Oh, we need a drink. So the other thing, dragon paintings. I haven't done a dragon uh, pretty much this whole week, actually, and a little bit of last week. I prepped one board and then uh, started reorganizing because it should have gotten overwhelming, and I just haven't had time to start back up. But the dragon project is not meant to be finished in a short amount of time. So. Fuck. Zevia for the Rizzo. We gotta talk about sponsorship. I mean, come on. Come on. Hit me up. Let's do this. We got bacon on the motherfucking stove. We just left the gym. We're taking Jay to work in like, what? Less than an hour. So I gotta make this. Get the day started another day. Another day, another day, Thursday. Uh, my day is getting the drop ready. We got a drop coming this weekend. Hopefully. It's been pushed back a couple of times, but that's the schedule these days. You know what I'm saying? Can't plan for shit. We can't plan for nothing. Always <laughs> <laughs> dancing. It's like my go to move. Like, Thank you, Saint Bolt. Oh, is that what it is? All that. Uh, I didn't know. Everybody's got their thing. For updates. We're crushing in the gym. Mm. Fuck his tweet. Beast guy. Beast guy. <laughs> it's not even true. Baby boy's coming out here. Oh, yeah. We've been basically just working on, yeah, Jay's kid, baby mother. Yeah, we're going to come out here, spend Mother's Day weekend with me. Looking for apartments. Looking for apartments. All kinds of shit. Doing shit. We're Big doing shit. Yeah. Big Montings. We're doing things. Taking him to work. Another day in the pit. All right, we're back home. We're back home after traffic. Omar, what are you doing up there? You want a bone? Huh? Do you want a bone? You don't know this word? You want a treat? You want a treat? <laughs> uh huh. Koala denim. Right, you know, we're working on for the collab that's coming. Koala denim. Bones. All right, welcome, hello, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Uh, 
life. Life's been a little hectic, I guess. Um, I kind of always say this, but this past few months have been really crazy. Uh, having Jay here has been a, I mean, I don't want to say it's a larger challenge than I thought it was going to be, because that's not the right words. It's more than I thought it was going to be as far as how much energy it takes to just Dude, I don't know what the words are. Like, I have a lot of time and energy invested in talking to Jay. I don't want to say coaching, but like offering my advice and just kind of helping him maneuver his way back into the world. And, you know, we're working on getting him a place, his own place. He's making money. He's saving money. And we're just trying to get him in position so that he can be with his son and whatever that entails. You know, just trying to get, it's just a lot of work trying to get somebody back into society. He's doing great. Like he is doing everything he's supposed to be doing. He's working his ass off. He's working 80 plus hours. It's just a really fucking long climb back up. Dude, if nothing else, going to jail, I mean, it just resets you. And to build back from nothing is incredibly difficult. It's not even me that's doing it. I'm just sitting here witnessing it and offering assistance where I can and just watching him have to work and work and work and work and grind and grind and grind so just doing a lot of that really i mean honestly we spend a lot of time together jim take him to work he works all day so we're not you know on days off not really around him but uh you know in the morning and at night we're around each other constantly we're like constantly talking about things and kind of working through things and just like discussing the world and you know the plight of the world too like the world is in such a crazy place you know the world might not be as crazy as it seems on the internet you guys know like this is the internet i've been struggling the last year with um what i ingest off the internet what i actually like take in what i believe what is important to me and how much attention i'm going to pay to it and i've been paying way less and less less attention to just social media, the internet, the newest outrage of the day, the newest fire that needs to get put out. Like I'm just at this place where I don't feel like polarization that happens is ever going to stop. I think that people make too much money off of us being upset and at each other's throats. I think there's a lot of fucking issues in this world, but most of all, the main thing that I can actually do is help one person or multiple people, you know, but help the people around me, protect my family, protect the people I care about, and advise others with like-minded concepts and like-minded individuals to stay out of the laser beam. You know, we can point out all the things that are wrong with the world every single day. We can make a hundred thousand memes about what's wrong. Like, yes, a lot of shit is fucked up. Like, yeah, but like being wrong and being right, I mean, it's very evident that it doesn't really matter. It causes a lot of distraction, and I don't see how anyone could get done what they want to get done or need to get done in the day, ingesting and feeding into, you know, the newest thing. Which again, I think a lot of this shit's fucked up, but I just, I can't pay attention to it. The way that I got focused on my own shit prior, like with Boost God and everything, starting a YouTube blog and all this, was by removing a lot of those distractions. Like I deleted Facebook, I unfollowed everyone on Instagram at the time, like I just didn't interact with people. And that was like blissful because I didn't have to deal with everybody's emotions and this, that, and third. But regardless, trying to navigate Jay away from that as well because the internet in some ways is just like prison. You know, the internet in some ways is a confinement. Like all of this it's shaping us psychologically, especially over the past year. We could really talk about a million different things going on in the world, and we could talk about how fucked up some of them are, most of them are, all of it is, whatever. But um, it just doesn't, it doesn't get, it doesn't get us anywhere. Like, yes, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Shit is fucked up. It's true. Shit is fucked up. A lot all over. Shit is super fucked up. I don't know what you want me to do about it. Tweeting about it's not helping. Go out, do something, help an individual. There's a lot of fucked up things in the world. I can't just pick one, you know? Like, if I could just pick, like, I don't know how you pick. Instead of picking one, um, I pick none. And it doesn't mean that I don't care about other humans and I have no, comp I have, you know, I have plenty of compassion and empathy, and outrage. This is counterproductive, you know? And some people can think and say that's insensitive. And they can say, like, you're part of the problem, but I disagree. And I think that you're part of the problem because the arguing and the separation doesn't do anything. It doesn't help. Some people are saying, you know, oh, well, this is, this needs to happen. You know, these, these these conversations need to happen. Uh, well, maybe you feel like that. Maybe they do, but I don't feel like they're not productive. Nothing ever changes. Nothing changes. You know, I put out the bumper sticker. Don't blame me. I didn't vote. I got attacked. But then the administration is doing the same things the past administration does. We all know this. This isn't political. Don't type anything in the comment box because it doesn't. Trust me. It's not gonna fly. It's not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. My main point is like I don't want to argue with people. I don't 
want to form opinions. I really don't want to form an opinion about most things anymore. I don't think that it's worth it. I don't think that it's worth me investing myself emotionally in things that will never change. Like, I don't think they'll ever change and they won't ever change because people will never unite. We will never see things eye to eye. And that could be down to there being too many people, too many different cultures, too many perspectives, too many I don't knows. But the real thing is, is I don't know, you don't know. And at the end of the day, we're all just crawling around earth afraid to die and people are making up shit to fill in between what i'm making up to fill in between is my clothing brand and my art and as usual that's what i'm doing so this whole week we have a drop coming finally the embroidery drop is supposed to drop for the public i have a liberty and justice drop um you know a lot of my clothing now is kind of moving towards commentary in some ways which i explain to friends and family i usually send out like a newsletter explaining each graphic new art trying to schedule tattoos it's like the regular stuff for me which has kept me really really busy like alex is out of town so i'm shipping i do all the photos for everything the graphics uh, all the advertising it's all me really been taking a lot of my time it's not like how it used to be uh where I can just vlog all day long everything that's going on. Because two, a lot of this shit is kind of private. The last thing I want to do is exploit Jay's situation or exploit Jay in any way where he's not comfortable or he like, ends up saying something he doesn't necessarily believe in or have his mind wrapped around. You know, we have the podcast for that. We say all kinds of crazy shit like off the cuff. But the vlog, I feel like documenting uh, Jay's ascension is something that takes place over time and we need time to reflect and we need time to learn because we're both like learning things not only about each other but like what he needs to stay on a straight path and how he got where he is and just all this re rehabilitation i guess or just like talking through it so there's there's a lot of stuff that can't be on camera because it's just highly personal and it's not something that really needs to be vlogged it's just it'll come out later I have discussions and we'll talk about these things later but we really have to get our own firm grasp on these things and how they work out before can really advise other people or even share the story it's real life it's not a joke you know like <laughs> This is like very serious. There's a lot of money has been spent, a lot of time has been spent, and it's really essence to connect a, a father and this and a son and have the you know excel in life and have a good life and continue on. So that's been the project. That's the main project, and that's really like pretty much what we're doing. Changing the way I'm doing things moving forward uh, because there's a lot of delays with COVID ton still supply chains just got so fucked it's really hard to source garments it's really hard to like plan for any type of timeline so i've reduced it and i'm going to start releasing like a graphic at a time to just kind of help like manage all this stuff uh and then also i think it'll help me put out more more work because how i've felt going from prior to the pandemic was traveling all around making art a bunch releasing a bunch of stuff you know like for a while they were releasing new stuff every week every other week and now it takes me two months to get from a graphic to a physical drop. That's just for friends and family. It takes me almost three months for public. That's four drops a year. I can't do that. A, it's not enough output to support a business and B, it's not enough output to support my creativity. So that's why I'm doing all these things and painting and trying to find my balance. I think with vlogging, a lot of people feel the pressure to just continuously act like, you know, their life is larger than everyone else's. There's always something interesting going on and it's just not true. Like life is life and sometimes life is a about putting your fucking head down and getting to work. And I still really, really want to vlog. I still really love vlogging. I just need the time to kind of make sure everything's cool and, you know, take care of my responsibilities. All this new stuff that is um, existing in my life that didn't exist last year or two years ago or whatever. I also feel like this is the long bet that I've made on myself. You know, when I started this vlog and the internet, I always wanted to keep it as real as possible. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to like pretend to be excited about things or hype things up just to sell them or anything like that. Sometimes with that and being genuine, there's lulls. You have lulls in your life and I'm not even having a lull. I'm overwhelmed. Like if we're being honest, I'm overwhelmed with a motherfucker with just stuff. Like I have so much to do and so much to carry. But for me, it feels like this is the culmination of the moments I've been working up to. Is it glamorous? Fuck no. It's rewarding. Like I feel good. I feel um, mental clarity. I'm barely smoking now. So like super clear in my head. 
Um, super focused on just continuing to build. So, dude, I don't even know. I know I don't even have to explain this because this everybody here on this vlog pretty much understands that it is what it is. Like no one really gives me shit, but I do like to say I appreciate everyone, and I'm not in any way trying to quit vlogging or you know taking a step back. I've had to recalibrate how I ingest the internet, and I think for a while I thought like you know maybe I should just take a step back and not be involved at all. Or I think it's important for opposition. You know, if everybody who opposes Poses the fuckery leaves the internet or leaves the conversation then it leaves room for more fucking idiots to talk and you know you need a counterbalance so as exhausting as it can be uh, I do feel like my commentary I don't know about necessary but I feel you know, obviously I feel compelled to give it so it's just about balance and not letting the toxicity kind of take over and I've really learned that just uh, by having Jay that's like by watching how things affect Jay or even watching how things affect other people you know and watching people on the timeline freak out about stuff there's a a lot a lot going on that's the update that's what's going on it's thursday there's a podcast tomorrow friday i don't know when this vlog will go up i think it's gonna go up tonight though but that's basically the update that's why there's less vlogs that's why there's less of me going out and, you know doing stuff we don't have time to go do stuff it's just like a constant grind right now